YouTube. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to Carnivore Quest. Today's day one of our five-day accountability challenge, and you get some B-roll of this stuff. I did. did. Okay, so I don't have to lift up my plate. We got some beautiful New York strips, yes. some shrimp, and uh, it's looking good. Real good. We're shooting all our meals for the next five days. Uh, help out our buddy Carnivore Kid. We'll be releasing that on November 1st. Uh, why are you doing that? <laughs> Day two, guys, of our accountability video here. I haven't eaten. Uh, what is it, about 5.30 at night. I have the live, Friday Night Live with Kip, Dave, and uh, Sean the Intentional Carnivore at 9 o'clock. Had a really good day, productive day, and uh, eating clean, Kip, right? How about you, buddy? How you doing? Oh yeah, for for those of y'all that don't know, Dave, oh not Dave, uh, Larry and Cassie, they issued me like a five day challenge because I had been went off the rails or whatever. So I'm on day three of that challenge, and it's been going really good. I had actually went up. I don't know how I done it, but I went up 35 pounds, literally 35 pounds, and a lot of that was water weight. It had to be because in three days I'm down 16 pounds. Not bad. I'm bad at all. What have we been eating? Jerky. Jerky made from ground beef. Guys, this stuff is awesome. By the so time you, by the time you see this video, this video will already be out. So I'll be able to put the link right up here by Cassie's head. Um, if you want to learn how to make this game changer, I haven't said that since probably the chuck roast and Cassie's chicken soup game changer because I really enjoy this. Like while I'm editing or you know, no, you're not supposed to snack on the carnivore diet, whatever. You know, sometimes... It's a meal. Yeah, right. I mean, we're just hitting a little bit of the wall of doom, gang. i got to be serious, you know. We're not eating a whole lot, are we? We're about at the two-week mark. I mean, that's just the way it is for us. Every time we're getting fat adapted, so... Mm -hmm. um, you know, if I do eat some eggs or something later... Have you had anything else today? You haven't, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, so this is it, so... How much do you think we'll eat? Like six, seven ounces? I don't know. <laughs> Last time you ate so much. I know. You what? So much. A couple pounds. Yeah. I ate. It was crazy. It's so good. Yeah, it's really good. Yeah. I think this batch might be a little better. It's a little... Um, a little softer? Yeah, easier to chew. Last one uh, killed my teeth. Yeah. Well, amazing. But anyway, I'm going to jump on the live with the boys. And uh, if we eat anything else tonight... Of course, we'll report that. Hope you're doing good, Kip. And uh, otherwise, we'll see you all tomorrow. And we'll see you in the comments. <laughs> Later. Good morning, gang. Day three <laughs> of the five-day carnivore Kip challenge. Keep that boy accountable. Uh, it's 8.30 in the morning. Got a little coffee here. I made this with the chocolate uh, salt element. Uh, like I highlighted in our last uh, element clip, and uh, this stuff is so good, really good. And a lot of people have been asking about our cups. We have a store open now, guys. Uh, the link's below this video. You know, it's attached to YouTube, but you can get a Carnivore Quest mug. We've had people asking about these forever, and we finally made them available. So if you want to pick one up, a uh, great way to support the channel. Very cool. Another thing about the chocolate salt, guess what's coming back? Chocolate caramel which was a seasonal flavor last year for their chocolate melody in the winter. But Element has made it a permanent flavor. It's available right now. You know our link's always down below for um, Element's electrolytes. You guys get that free sample pack. So, And you know Cassie and I really appreciate using it. So anyway, I'm not having any food this morning. A little coffee. My camera girl right now, Cassie's not having any coffee. But she's got some running around to do in a little while. I wonder if she'll pick up... Uh, <laughs> a cup of coffee on the road. I don't know, but I'll be in the office all day editing. We'll see you at our first meal later. Okay, gang, day three. Got a couple burger patties here. They're and? pretty huge. And we got some shrimp. That's, a lot of it. Yeah, this is the shrimp from the other day. Yeah, that's, that's a ton of shrimp. That's like a buffalo shrimp. Oh, it's gonna be good. Uh, no. Real good. Hope you're doing good, Kip. I've uh, got one more thing to show you guys. Cassie made a solo run to Costco. I was a little jealous. I like going to Costco. On a Saturday, I must be insane. <laughs> <laughs> Is that hot dog good you had? Uh, yeah, it was actually two. <laughs> oh, you did have two? Uh huh. Well.
Anyway, check this out. This is a strip loin? Yep. Right. Look at the size of this thing, guys. How many New York strips are we going to be able to get out of this? Super excited. What was it, $100 for this? Yep. It was $8.39 a pound. Bam! I'm very excited about this. And like I said, Walla Doom has been kind of creeping in. Tomorrow, I'm going to eat. And uh, I'll probably eat three of these steaks. So maybe we'll show you guys how we cut them up and uh, take care of it. And then we got a big old brisket. $2.99 per pound. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. $37 so for all of this meat. We'll probably get three of them out of here. Well, or two very large ones. But we'll eat off of this for a couple days too. Very cool. Costco mm -hmm. for the win, man. Yeah. And it's a little bit of a distance for us. You guys know we got that Costco card uh, late last year. Um, but gosh, we're going to have to be renewing that soon. Uh huh. We haven't used it much. <laughs> we need to go more often. But anyway, well, you guys, you see more of this tomorrow. And uh, again, Kip, hope you're doing good. Yep. All of you, hope you're doing good. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Good morning, gang. Day four, <laughs> the carnivore kip challenge. And I made me some scrambled eggs and butter, uh, which I highlighted in that uh, three-day meal plan video. I said on my live stream, too, that I did in the middle of the night that uh, these are amazing, cooked in butter. Um, if you haven't seen that three-day meal plan, I'll put it right up here in the corner. If you guys haven't seen that, check it out. Give you an idea of, you know, if you're starting in the carnivore diet, give me some good ideas. But who is still smoking? Mm. This is four small eggs. Um, you know, it's uh, almost nine in the morning. I usually don't eat this early. I'm telling you, I'm getting hungry now, guys. I'm getting past that wall of doom. We'll see what's uh, coming up later. Cassie's not eating breakfast right now. But I am. Mmm, the butter is so good. Anyway. See ya. p.m. and I got a couple Denver steaks here. Uh, those are looking good. Cassie made these this afternoon. Um, she had them for lunch. You know, I had those eggs this morning so I, I really didn't eat lunch. And uh, Yeah, look at these things. These are thick. You guys ever had a Denver steak? Let me know down in the comments. They are fire. I never had one until Cassie uh, started working at the butcher shop and uh, yeah, they're really good. Well, I'm going to heat these up in the microwave and enjoy them. And I've uh, been keeping an eye on Kip, social media, he's doing good. Uh, looks like he could be getting his footing and getting back on track, which is really cool. So cool. I'll see you tomorrow. What's up, dear viewers? Uh, middle of the work day, and I uh, got a big bowl of New York strip right here. That big old strip loin Cassie got from Costco. Um, check this out. I had little Larry break it down. He had that thing cut up in about five minutes. Uh, it was really nice. Um, trimmed it up nicely. Got all the silver skin off it. So little Larry, thank you, buddy. Love you. And uh, we're going to eat on this probably for the next week. I mean, we also have that brisket too, but when I'm in here working, I usually don't you know, sit down with a steak with a fork and knife. I'll cut it up like this. Actually, I got a little footage of me cooking it. This is two pounds of strip steak. So it's a lot of meat. <laughs> um, and I, then when it was done, I cut it up, throw it in the pan. It cooks quicker. And then I don't have to sit here and, uh, you know, cut up the bites as I'm working. So mm. I salted this up too, put a big dollop of butter on it. Man, it is good. There's a real good possibility this will be my only meal today because this is a lot of meat. It's actually a little over two pounds. We had little Larry cut those steaks pretty thick. <laughs> oh yeah, and also I'm having the salsa water. Food Lion brand. Yeah, you know, I used to drink a lot of these and uh, they gave me, I found they gave me gas. And uh, now I'm probably down to like three a week, you know. I mean, they got nothing in them. 
uh, some artificial flavoring, but like no, uh, they're clean, let's put it that way. There's no, uh, they're not sweetened. Day five dinner time, guys. Look at the size of these strips. Little Larry cut these, gosh, probably an inch and a half thick. These are going to be uh, delicious. The ones I had for lunch in the bowl were really good. But I'm not starving, but I will eat one of these. And I'm going to make the other two for Cassie. And, uh, you know, see what kind of damage she can do. I'm going to be uh, reverse, reverse searing these like Cassie likes to do. Which is seared up in the cast iron pan. And then throw it in the oven. Uh, these will take a while. These might take 25-30 minutes at uh, 200 degrees. So we'll see. Sometimes we use bacon grease to sear our meat, but if Cassie's made some beautiful uh, pure tallow, definitely use this. Check out the card up here in the top. Um, learn how to make this, you guys. Save you money, and <laughs> it's awesome. Got these salted up, both sides. All right, these are done. Let's see how they turned out. Oh yeah. Oh, nice. Absolutely perfect. And these are thick. I'll tell you right now, guys, you wanna learn how to do this? I'll put another card uh, up at the top and show you how to reverse sear a steak step-by-step. Step. It's totally worth it. Look at that. All right, guys, here it is. About a pound and a half each. Mm -hmm. Think you need two of them? No, maybe one and a half because you haven't eaten today, so. I am hungry. Yeah. <laughs> no coffee today, no cream, so my appetite has definitely increased a bit. Cassie likes to let these bad boys rest for about 10 minutes, and then we'll chow down. Yeah. Those steaks are going to be good. So good. Absolutely. And we want to take a moment and thank all of our supporters for the month of October who bought us a coffee and our channel members. Thank you very much. Number four, how to fix your broken keto. Cassie and I have done a number of videos about the BBBE challenge and how to fix your keto is the cream of the crop. Going over why we couldn't stick to keto and how the BBBE challenge was essential to our success on the carnivore diet really resonated with our viewers who had experienced the same difficulties on keto. Hundreds of people attempted the BBBE challenge for the first time after seeing this video and the power it has to crush sugar and carb cravings. We've learned the hard way that Cassie and I do not do good with moderation. You know, we just can't have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We do much better with restriction and that's what the BBBE challenge really forces you to do is you know, restrict down uh, what you're putting in your mouth. It's just magical, man. We went to our daughter's wedding. We did not have wedding cake. I thought if Cassie didn't have cake at our daughter's wedding, the world was gonna end. <laughs> Thank you all. We love you and we are so absolutely appreciative of all your support. Absolutely. Everything we collect from our Buy Me A Coffee and our channel memberships goes directly back into the channel and all the content we produce. And if you want to become a supporter for the month of November, you can always hit up our Buy Me A Coffee page down in the description. We call it our digital tip jar. And also you can become a channel member and we are going to start doing members only live streams yeah. for both ground beef and ribeye levels. So it'd be a good time to become a member and uh, you know, that'd be cool. We've never done one before. I think we should start this week. Very cool. How about yeah. Saturday? Uh, okay, yeah. So be on the lookout gang. We're gonna be having our holiday weight loss challenge. Yeah. Second annual. And uh, we'll be looking for that like in the next week, week and a half, we're gonna announce it. We're not gonna wait till the last minute. We usually start it right before Thanksgiving. So uh, be on the lookout for that one. It was really cool. Carnivore Kip accepted this five-day carnivore challenge. It was good for us, too. It yeah. really was. And a lot of other people. And a lot of other people mm -hmm. in our group. Because, you know, Cassie and I had that slip a couple weeks ago. And we, we really weren't worried about, you know, the, the weight we had gained. We were worried about the cravings we were having. Yes. 
and I hit the wall of doom last couple of days. And you saw today I ate two pounds of meat. Now I'm gonna eat, I'll probably eat three and a half pounds of meat today, which tells me I'm past the wall of doom. And uh, smooth sailing from here. Cravings have really subsided for both Cassie and I, mm -hmm. which was our main goal for this five days. Because yeah. we knew, we knew we were, we were right there. I'll tell you, man, my stool's pretty liquidy right now, which is another good sign. Warning. <laughs> yeah, warning. Uh, yeah, I'm definitely flushing everything. It usually takes me about two weeks. And this last five days of eating clean, really punched it into action, so. Nailed it. Yeah, who's uh, who's happy about diarrhea? <laughs> Only a carnivore trying to get fat adapted. We really appreciate you guys stopping by, always supporting us, and remember, don't forget to subscribe to Kip's channel, root him on, I'll link it down in the description. And uh, this video was a lot of fun. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so we'll see you in the next one, guys. Remember, no sugar, no carbs, and no cheating. Later. Ever wonder how much money a YouTuber makes? Check out this next video where I reveal everything.